What's going on guys? It's Tyler with Clean Cut Lawns. Hope you're all doing well. If you haven't been in this channel before, consider hitting that subscribe button. But today I just want to do a quick comparison video on the Echo PAS System 2620 and the Steel uh, KM111, which is their combi system. And if you don't know, these different models are the, the equipment where you can change the heads on them and put different attachments on there, such as a string trimmer head, stick edger, uh, hedge trimmers, bed redefiners, and things of that nature. But I borrowed this steel uh, KM111 from somebody, and I'm uh, sorry about the car noise, but, and I have uh, personally the Echo PAS uh, 2620 multi-tool attachment. But, um, so here is the steel KM111. Have to bear with me as I've been over these up. Here is the Echo 2620, and I mean, just being honest, most of what we use is for it, our hedge trimming, uh, articulating hedge trimmers. And uh, so, some of the things that I like about both of them, you know, for what they are, they're both pretty light. Um, I haven't used the steel too terribly much, but uh, one thing that Jeff said about it. Personally noticed on the Echo, you know, and I looked up some uh, things from the steel and the Echo website about these things. So obviously the steel model is a little higher up than the Echo 2620. But um, on the Echo, you know, yeah, it's 25.4 cc's, it holds 20.6 ounces of fuel, it's 9.9 .9 pounds, 40.7 inches long, five year homeowner warranty, two year commercial warranty. And I found that there was like 20 so attachments and the MSRP is $20. Now the steel website, um, I didn't necessarily find as much information on it, but it's 31.4 cc's, holds 24 ounces of fuel, 9.7 pounds, one year warranty, and I think they give you another year if you buy um, some of their some of their mixing oil, some of their two, two stroke, two cycle oil. But um, some of the things, some of the noticeable differences that I like about these, um, you can see here on the uh, trigger that this one is uh, not protected. Actually, let me just try to hold this up here. But this trigger on this one is not protected. And I have broken off a trigger like that before. This is where I'm going to hang it. It is a little more protected. Um, you know, the stop buttons are a little different, but they're both right at the top where you can hit them with your thumb. It's not that big of a deal. Um, Weight-wise, they both feel about the same. And specifically on the uh, hedge trimmers, you know, I can just press these two. Levers down and adjust it. And on the steel, you uh, pull down right here. You can adjust it that way. So, really not, I guess that's more of a personal preference, but to me, not really a big deal. Um, a big deal either way. I couldn't exactly find how much the, just the system was. On the steel, on the steel unit, um, they're both easy to take. straight out pretty pretty simple and uh, on this one oops on this one you can do the uh, the same thing it does have a uh, thing right here where I'll click in I guess an extra layer of protection to keep it from from coming out you know they're pretty comfortable they both have this handle right here to you know keep it comfortable um, for somebody short like me, you know, it's a, a little lengthy on both of them, but, uh, needless to say, they both, they both work good. They both have plenty of power. I mean, the main thing, like I said, we use them both, both mostly for hedge trimming, but the main thing is keeping them sharp and that'll handle most of your issues when it comes to, why isn't this trimmer working? 
Well, if you keep them, if you keep them sharp, then that'll help with most of your most of your issues. But anyway, I just wanted to show my experience with both of them. You know, they both have a number of attachments, both reputable companies. But I just wanted to give you my input on these things. I like using both of them. Um, I guess one of the one of the main things is you can see that the articulating hedge trimmers are on uh they stick on different sides like the echoes on the left side and the steels on the right which i don't guess is the uh end of the world but it does feel different when you're mixing mixing between the two but um anyway i just wanted to uh give you guys my two cents on these two pieces of equipment let me know if you run one i also have uh picked up a battery powered um, multi-use attachment from a customer who wasn't using it obviously because he hired me to do his whole uh, landscape maintenance but stay tuned make sure you subscribe for that video this coming soon